Welcome to Video Analytics 101. Today we're talking about YOLO. What is it and how does it work? Let's go. All right, so what is YOLO? Well, if you spend some time in AI, deep learning, machine learning, researching a bit, I'm sure you came across the term YOLO and probably a lot. We hear about it all the time when we talk about computer vision, specifically computer vision in video surveillance. Everybody's talking, we use YOLO this, YOLO this. I had clients coming to me saying, why don't you support this? Just use YOLO and, and it works, right? So sometimes this seems to be like a panacea and people tell you, why don't you just use YOLO and it, it works out of the box. That's not so easy, but first things first, let's first understand what actually is YOLO in detail and how does it work and how can we apply it? So YOLO is an object detection algorithm. I've done another video where I explain the difference between object classification, object detection, object tracking. So you can go there to see the details, but just to recap what object detection does is it essentially tells you this object class is present in an image and it's present at this position. So basically a bounding box. So if you have an image and you do uh, object detection on it, and in the image you have a, a bike and a dog, for example, then object detection will tell you there is a dog and the dog is here in the image and there's a bike and the bike is here. So object detection locates objects in one image. And obviously that's something very important for us in video surveillance because we want to find these objects and we want to know where they are so we can track them and detect certain actions like people counting or intrusion or perimeter protection, these kind of things. So that's why object detection is very important to us. Now, what is YOLO? YOLO is an object detection algorithm and it stands for you only look once. YOLO, you only look once. Kind of weird, right? So why do we call it you only look once? Well, that goes back to two different types of object detection algorithms. You basically can divide into two, two, two phases or two types. The first type is two-stage object detection. So what does it mean? Well, if you have an image and you feed it into an object detection model, it runs through and it does the first stage of detection. So it will de detect the, the dog is here in the image, there's a bike, maybe there's another dog and so on. So it does a rough detection and then it runs through again. So it does the same thing again and does a refinement to make it more accurate. So it basically verifies what it detected in the first stage, it tries to verify in the second stage and in the end you have an accurate result. So this is very accurate, but as you can imagine, it's also kind of slow because you have to run twice. And this is why people came up with one stage object detection, which as you can imagine, is just running it through once. So you just run the image once through the network and then you have a result. Obviously this is less accurate because you don't have this refining stage, but it's much faster. It's, it's almost twice as fast, obviously. Uh, and this is why this has become so popular. And this is what YOLO is. You only look once, is, uh, is the name because you only run through it once. Another not so popular uh, one stage object detection algorithm is SSD, if you have to, uh, heard it before, but I would say YOLO is much, much more popular. And the reason for that is because it is very fast and reasonably accurate. Now, the first version came out in 2015, YOLO V1, that was revolutionary because it was so fast and fairly accurate. And since then we had many more versions. We had two, three, four, five, each of them with different flavors. And it didn't, it wasn't released by one company or one research group. It was different research groups, everybody releasing and improving on the other one. And today we are at version seven with version eight just around the corner. And each of these versions actually made it not only more accurate, but even faster, which is actually amazing. And this is why today YOLO is really the de facto standard for a fast, and accurate object detection algorithm. Now, one thing to note is that it's just an algorithm. It's not a trained model. So if somebody's telling you, just use YOLO, that's not the answer to everything because you need a data set that's curated, that's fit for your purpose, for your application that you're allowed to use, that doesn't have license terms that prevent you from using it commercially, for example. And this is really the hard work, like creating the data set, curating, curating the data set. And then you take an existing architecture like YOLO, you apply it to it, and then you have to do something with the output, with the actual detection. So you have to apply tracking or reasoning, a rules engine, 
So there's lots of other stuff you have to do around YOLO. It's not just take YOLO and that's it. But having said that, it is a very good and accurate and fast object detection algorithm. And that's exactly why it is so, so popular. So that's YOLO. You only look once at one stage object detection algorithm. See you next time.